Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce Marketplace Seller Price Comparison Plugin. Place. This plugin gives the ability to compare price among different sellers for a single product. For example, there is a product A which is sold by the seller A1. Then uh, with the help of this plugin, seller A2 is also uh, able to sell the same product on the marketplace. So now when a buyer goes to the shop, he is able to find the both the sellers on the product page of the product. So now let's go through the uh, configuration part of this plugin. After successful installation of the plugin, uh, you will be able to find a new tab appeared uh, named seller price comparison on the uh, dashboard. Here you can uh, configure this plugin, but before uh, the configuration of this plugin, a, an, another configuration is required, uh, which is whether you want to uh, publish an assigned product or not. If you want to approve uh, the product, or it will be auto approved. This configuration can be done under uh, marketplace and settings. Here, uh, there is a configuration which is allow seller to publish. If you check this uh, configuration, then all the products will be auto approved. And if you uncheck this, uh, it means you disallow uh, the sellers to publish their uh, product. Then uh, all the products will be sent to you and uh, you are able to uh, provide approval uh, for every product to publish on the marketplace. So as of now, uh, this option is unchecked, so uh, admin approval is required to publish a product. Now we move to the configuration of seller price comparison. Under seller price comparison settings, uh, you are able to configure this plugin. There is only single uh, configuration is required, uh, which, which is assigned product configuration settings. This is shop products where you want to show uh, base product, uh, cheapest product or all the products on the shop. If you choose base product then the first product will be shown on the top of the shop. Or if you choose cheapest product then the product which have the lowest price will be shown on the shop. Or if you choose all the products then all the products will be shown on the shop. As of now we choose base product. So uh, the first product will be shown on the shop and other product will be shown on the uh, other products and seller will be uh, visible on the product page of the product. So to make a product available to sell by the other sellers, uh, you need to first uh, add that product to the global list. You can add any product to the global list under seller price comparison add uh, global products. Here you will find uh, all the products which are not globally yet. So uh, to add a product to the global list, uh, you just need to uh, uh, press button add global product and this product will be added to the global product list. So uh, let's there is a product available which is golden bangle and we can add this to the global product list. Now as you see that uh, the product will be successfully added to the global product list and you can find that product under global product list this is the global product list and uh, as you can see that now the product will be added to the global product list and the currently the seller of this product is uh, peter doe and now any of the seller of the marketplace can add this product to their uh, product list now we move to the front end and see that uh, the current impact of this uh, product and uh, when we made this product uh, uh, added by the other seller then uh, we compare both the situations. So now we move to the uh, current uh, front end of the product. So here we can find uh, the golden bangle. Uh, current price of this product is uh, 100 and $99 and if we move to its product page uh, we are able to find only one seller of this product which is 
treated home. So uh, now uh, let's move to the uh, panel of uh, John Doe where he want to add this product to his global level. Uh, this is the uh, uh, panel of uh, seller John Doe. Uh, he can add uh, a product uh, which is available in the global list to his product list. To add a product to his uh, list, he can uh, just move through the assign product. Here he need to search the product with the help of search bar. As the name of the product is uh, golden, we press search. Now the product will be listed over there. So uh, he just need to press sell button to sell the same product. Here he can configure the product uh, as per his requirement. He can choose the name of the product. Uh, let's say he can choose category product thumbnail. Then select, he can choose uh, product SKU, price of the product, say he choose 159, then save. He is also able to enter uh, inventory. Uh, which is uh, 50 as of now stock status is in stock and back orders is not allowed update and now product will be added to his list but uh, it is under approval of the admin now admin needs to approve the list this listing and then it will be available in the marketplace so uh, to approve the listing we need to move to the admin panel where uh, the product will be available under assigned products so as we can see that the product is under assigned product here admin needs to provide uh, provide approval to this product and then this product will be added to the marketplace so to approve a product admin just needs to uh, press uh, the name of the uh, product and here he needs to publish the product so now product will be published and it will be visible on the front end of the marketplace so let's uh, so now we uh, move through the uh, front end of the marketplace here in front end you can see the product is available over there and earlier we choose the setting of the seller price comparison is base product so the first product or the base product will be available over there if we click on the product then uh, we are able to find that this now this product is sold by the two sellers first is Peter Doe and the second seller is John Doe and the price of uh, uh, the product will be available over there the price uh, the first price of this product is $199 and as we configure this product at uh, $159 so it will be available over there so uh, now the buyer can choose uh, the same product which is sold by the two two sellers and he can uh, he can choose to purchase the product from any of the seller so if the buyer want to purchase the product from Peter Doe he just need to that this add to cart or if he want to purchase the product from John Doe uh, at um, $159 then he Need, just need to press this button add to cart and the product will be added to his cart you can see that the now the price of the uh, product will be 159 and it will be added to the cart of the buyer so now you see that it is very simple and easy to configure the this plugin and now a single product will be sold by the two sellers of the marketplace.
so that's all for this video tutorial if you have any query or suggestion you just mail us at support.webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uv-dash.com so thanks for watching this video uh, stay tuned for more updates thank you